Hey guys, Dr. A coming to you from my beautiful backyard in Windsor, Connecticut, day three of the 30-30-30 challenge. Quickly, I'd like to share with you what I learned today in my reading, and oh, by the way, what I'm picking up from my audio will be in the link down there. It'll be in my blog, so you can read about that, and of course, I'm going to post this video. I'm reading T. Harv Eker's book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. You know that, and you should absolutely get a copy of it. What T. Harv taught me today is something that's extremely important, especially if you're a parent or a grandparent, because we are conditioned when we are young, yet if the adults in our lives don't know what they're doing, they are really jacking us up, messing up our minds, because there are three ways that we are conditioned or programmed from the time we are born. The first way is through verbal conditioning. In other words, we are conditioned based on the things we hear. The second way that we are conditioned is by the things we uh, see. So there's visual conditioning. And then the third way that we are conditioned is based on the things we experience. So specific incidents. Now I want to use a, um, an example to help illustrate what I'm talking about so that you can take this knowledge and apply it to your own life, especially, again, if you're a parent or a grandparent. Let's say that we have a daughter or a granddaughter, and she's a little thing, and she watches us wear makeup. Now, the first part of the conditioning is the um, verbal conditioning, verbal programming. So we say to her, Jael, that's my granddaughter's name, don't get in Nana's makeup. This is for big girls. It's not for little girls. Okay, so I've now just conditioned Jael through what I say verbally. Now, let's say at the same time that I tell her not to get in the makeup because it's for big girls, she's in the bathroom with me as I'm putting on my makeup. So I'm modeling for her. I'm visually programming her as to how women wear makeup. Now think about this. I've told her not to do it, but yet I'm modeling for her how to do it. So right there, there's this huge disconnect. I mean, this was like the light bulb went off when I read this. The third way that we are conditioned or conditioned is through our experience. So let's say that Jael looks at her Nana and thinks to herself, she is so beautiful with all that stuff on her face and I want to look like that too. And when my back is turned, she gets into the makeup. And when I go in the bathroom, it's all over her face, lipstick all up this way and eyeshadow over here. And she looks at me smiling and beaming like, see, I'm pretty too. And my response to that is, I told you not to get in that makeup. Why didn't you listen to me? And let's say that I say, bad girl, bad girl, don't do that. Nana said, don't do that. You know what I just did? I just programmed Jael through a specific incident to do several different things. A, to never ever wear makeup because bad girls do it. B, to think about me differently because I'm wearing makeup, but if bad girls wear makeup and Nana wears makeup, Nana must be bad. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. Or number three, I'm just, I've just programmed her to judge other people that wear makeup. If I don't bring some balance into her world through the way she's being programmed, verbally, visually, and through her experience, Jael is going to grow up to be a jacked up woman. That's what happened to me when it came to my financial blueprint. I saw one thing, I heard something else, and I experienced yet something else. And as a parent, take this lesson and apply it to the way you're raising your children. Make sure that there's a balance between what they see, what they hear, and what they do so that they will grow up healthy 
and, and feeling good about themselves and good about their experiences. So this is Dr. A. I'll see you on day four of the 30-30-30 challenge. Thanks for dropping by my blog, and I will talk to you later. Bye.